Here we go, one more time, every- Adina, I know you're excited for the sequel. That's not the copy. Uh, let it go from the top. Whoa! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and I'm here with a little bit over an overdue sequel of a movie review. Disney now, they like to release their big animated films around Thanksgiving time. That's this time of the year. So I went out to the theater and checked out the new Anna Elsa sequel film, Frozen 2. Elsa the Snow Queen and her sister Anna embark on an adventure far away from the kingdom of Arendelle. So does Frozen 2 do the original and let it go justice? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Frozen 2 if you were able to check it out, and do you think that this is going to really heat up the box office this weekend? Now let's get into some of the good. I was a late adopter of the original Frozen, watched that on home video or streaming, and I thoroughly enjoyed that film, and I thought that it wrapped things up fairly well. So I was curious where this story was going to go, how they were going to craft this sequel. And from the first trailers and promotions, I was like, oh, okay, they're diving into the source of Elsa's powers. And that is part of the story. They very much dive into the origin, almost the origin story of this character or where she got her powers. But also crafting a story of almost history of Arendelle and dealing with her parents and sort of the world in general, almost expanding the frozen world and also the lore. So I thought what they did with the story was very well crafted. It very much catered to the first one, expanding everything. And um, it might set up things for a third film. We'll see if Disney goes upon that. But I do like how they almost took the subject matter from the original. They knew that their fans and the people that were fans of the original had obviously aged up a bit. So they aged up the story as well. So I thought that it was a little bit of an aged up story. I wouldn't say entirely dark, entirely adult. But I thought they did a fairly good job of crafting everything. And aside from the story animation. I believe that the first one came out in 2013. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm going to fix it right there. But 2013, what, six years ago, the animation style or technology has advanced quite a bit. And I thought that the animation in this movie from water to ice to wind to earth, fire, uh, basically the earth, wind, and fire, um, everything looked very very crisp but the animation i mean disney their leading technology and the first film i thought looked fantastic watching the first film side by side with this one this one looks phenomenal um there was even one specific scene that i don't know if they were messing with perspective or frame rate but i i had to like do a double take because it looked very real to me obviously it's animated i'm seeing these animated characters on the screen but the way that, I don't know, everything was working for that brief, probably 10 to 15 second sequence, um, it looked phenomenal. So the, the animation is out of control in this film. And this wouldn't have been a Disney animated film without song, dance, breakout numbers, big songs. And the original Frozen obviously had this like cultural phenomenon with Let It Go. I mean, that song was everywhere. Every time I turned the radio on, that song was playing. So I feel like Frozen 2 had a lot to live up to when it came, came to the music. And I will say that the music is entertaining, it's fun, it very much suits the characters and the scenes that it's playing out, and it's fun to watch. Um, it's entertaining, but none of the songs, unfortunately, are going to be Let It Go level. It's hard to live up to that one because, again, that was like a cultural phenomenon, but I thought everything else was, it was a fun, entertaining uh, a soundtrack in this movie. There were a few that I thought that they maybe stretched a little bit for example there's one called lost in the woods and i can only imagine who was behind that and what had happened to them bill tom anyone they're gonna regret it so bad that they left me lost in the woods it features entertaining songs, so I mean, what else can you ask for? And rounding out the positives for myself are the cast, crew, voice actors, and actresses returning from the first one are very much present in this one. I mean, each of them has a fun, kind of their own little time to shine. Uh, Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Kristoff, um, Sven, I think is the reindeer's name. Each of them has their own little time to shine. But then, uh, Sterling K. Brown, he's a minor character. And then one other character, I can't think of the voice actor's name. But everywhere, you know, the added additions very much 
uh, blend in with the old crew of the film. So I thought that, you know, everyone had their own little time to shine. However, some of the storylines in this film I felt like weren't given that much attention. It's very much Anna and Elsa's movie, much like the first film with a little bit of side characters or side plots thrown in there. Um, Kristoff's storyline in this movie, it starts off as his might be sort of a major plot point, but it very much uh, weaves away from it and then comes back in the end. So I didn't think that there was much weight given to his storyline and another just minor thing is like I mentioned uh, Lost in the Woods some of the songs just did not entirely land I mean they're entertaining but they're a little bit like what what's going on here overall Frozen 2 starts off wonderfully but does slip a time here or there on an icy patch with it featuring this ambitious story being aged up for the fans a beautiful animation entertaining songs and the whole cast and crew of voice actors and actresses returning but with some storylines not getting much weight to them and a song or two not being the best. I'd recommend checking out Frozen 2. It's on par with the first one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any Let It Go song, but it's fun, it's entertaining, and it does set up some cool things. In closing, I'm going to give Frozen 2 3.9 out of 5 seahorses. So what did you guys think of Frozen 2? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there, you know, movie reviews, trailer actions, fun comedy skits. I just did episode 3, breakdown and spoilers of The Mandalorian. There's um, probably Knives Out and then The Irishman coming later this week. And um, I'm going to be pretty busy with all of that. Follow all of my social media. Click that subscribe button. Like this video. Share this video. It seriously helps me out. And I appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, I'll see you later.